Hello friends, this is Josh West with Cellar Door Sound. Welcome back. I've got a sweet video for you today going through how to make an easy pop vocal sound. Pop vocals these days are all pretty similar and it's very, very, very easy to kind of get this sound. And the way you get this sound is with parallel processing. So I'm going to go through all of that. And I also want to give you this session. So at the end of this session, I'm going to save it and I'm going to have a link in the description so that you can download it. And it will have everything that I have done so far. And I highly recommend that you go ahead and click the link and download it and uh, follow along. Because this may seem slightly complicated, but once you get into it and do it a few times, you're going to want to do it on every single vocal that you mix and that you record. Because the results honestly just speak for themselves. And if you haven't yet, go grab my Ultimate Vocal Preset Bundle. We're going to be using some of my vocal presets inside of Logic here to make this happen. And it's just going to be so much beneficial if you click the link to download the session, then click the link to grab those presets, and you'll have everything you need to make your vocal sound awesome. So I'm using a song that I did in a previous video. Um, we did just some EQ compression and a little distortion on this lead vocal and got it to sound pretty sweet sounds kind of live and and cool and we're gonna take it a step further and make it really stand out and the vocals be really powerful uh, let's just play a little bit of what we have so far You have to pay that fine, only you were dodging all the time. All right, sweet. So it's sounding pretty cool. The effects are in a decent spot. And this mix is would work actually to work on a, a you know on a on a live video for sure for YouTube. But I want to now make this a little bit more like a a polished kind of kind of record here. So the first thing I want to ex to explain is is what parallel processing is, and I have done this in uh, previous videos in GarageBand, and I'm going to show you how to do this in Logic, and it actually makes your life a lot easier because being able to send audio out through buses and use auxes uh, just just make this so 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 simple. So we are going to solo out our vocal here, and. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to do another bus. I have my bus 1, 2, 3 are all these effects buses here. So I have a reverb, a delay, um, actually two delays. So it's like, kind of like a slap back delay and then a, a stereo delay. And I'm actually going to turn that down just a little bit, I noticed. Okay, so we're going to add another one. So we're going to go to send this out to bus 4. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold down option and click this little knob right here, and so that's going to send it at zero. So basically, it's an exact copy of this vocal is going to this aux 4 right here that just popped up. So we're going to name this para vox, so parallel processed vox. All right, and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our stereo out on our lead vocal here, and I'm going to send it to another bus. We're going to call this bus 5. We're going to call this uh, Combined V. Maybe that'll fit. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to eventually do is we're going to have this bus 4 going to our parallel vocal channel. And then the output of this is going to our combined. And then we're actually going to take this output here and go straight to this one as well. So this is a combined vocal aux. That way... We don't have two vocals and we're trying to mix it. We have an overall level adjustment that we can kind of mess with um, and we can do some overall EQ if need be later. Uh, just helps kind of keep things really nice and clean. But the reason we're not sending this to bus five yet is I actually want to mute this combined vocal here and I want to hear exactly how this is going to sound so I can kind of show you um, how to get this pop vocal sound. So let's go ahead and push play and make sure we actually have audio coming through. We'll fix it for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you shopping anywhere? Home chain? All right, sweet. So that's actually that's actually coming here. And let's go ahead. We're going to mute our effects really quick. So right now the only thing you're hearing is this lead vocal coming into this bus 4 and that's it. We're not actually hearing this 
vocal come out to our, our main combined output. All right, so I'm going to add a compressor here. So we're going to go to Dynamics, Compressor, Mono. And this is where we're going to use one of my presets here. And we're going to go to, uh, let's do Big Pop Vocal. So the goal of this parallel vocal is we want this one to be really, really processed. So we're going to make it like way over compressed. We're going to make it way more kind of distorted sounding. And then we're going to mix the two to create one vocal sound. So I'm going to be looking at this gain reduction here. So my threshold is basically going to set how much compression I want. All the other settings are ready to go as far as the preset is concerned. So I'm going to push play and get a pretty heavy compressed vocal. I'll fix it for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you shopping anywhere home? Oh, change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. Mm -hmm. Did you have to pay that fine? Only you were dodging all the time. Are you still dizzy? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right, cool. So I changed it to a vintage FET. It just kind of changes the tone of the compressor, adds just a little bit of saturation. And you can hear that we're compressing very, very, very heavily. I mean, we're getting like almost minus 10 dB of compression. And you want this. The reason why we do parallel is because we can actually have a version of our vocal that's not as compressed, which is this guy here, and then a version that's really compressed. And it allows you to have more compression without sounding like your vocal is just insanely uh, compressed. So let's try mixing these two in here and uh, see what we got here. I'll fix it for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. See, now that I unmuted my combined, which now I have both vocals coming out uh, simultaneously, it doesn't sound quite as compressed and intense, but the vocal energy just came up a ton and helped a lot in the track. So let's play it with the acoustic guitar here. And I'm going to mute this parallel vocal so you can just hear without this crazy compression. I'll fix it for you. Yeah. All right, now let's unmute our parallel vocal. When I have this unmuted, we can hear a lot more of the emotion, those soft notes, and it's it's just the energy overall is really driven up, and it's it's having a really really big effect on this. So I'm gonna mute this combined vocal one more time, and we're gonna do one more thing to this parallel vocal, and I want to add an exciter. Logic Pro has a pretty awesome kind of default exciter here, and what an exciter is doing is it's basically looking at uh, the, the frequency that I set here, and everything kind of above that and a little bit below, it's gonna add some harmonics to the sound. And if I, I normally like to kind of put these a little higher, some, something like that. Let's turn it all the way up so you can just hear how it sounds. Right, just adding a lot of high-end energy. Uh, sounds kind of cool. And this little button turns off that dry signal. So it kind of blends the dry signal and this, this harmonic stuff going on. And you can kind of just hear exactly what you're doing by turning this guy off. So I know I like color two the sound of color two they're just two slightly different sounding exciters and i am going to push play and kind of dial this in to where i think it's gonna peek through with the rest of the mix did you have to pay that fine? Only you were dodging all the time. Are you still dizzy? Yeah. All right, sweet. That sounds like it's in a pretty good spot. Okay, so now we are going to unmute our combined vocal, and then I'm going to send the stereo out of this parallel vocal to our combined. So now you can see our regular vocal is bus five going here, and our parallel vocal is coming 
to bus five as well, which is here. So they're both here, and when I push play, I have full control over it. I can turn it down, I can turn it up, and it just makes it so much easier. The only reason we didn't send this to bus five in the beginning is because I really wanted to just affect this and make it simple. Um, you could you could solo it and do all that stuff, but I just wanted to hear how it's how it's sounding and uh, how it's going to kind of blend in at the very end. So now let's mix both of these together. We're gonna turn on our reverbs and delays and our acoustic. And what's cool about this and doing it this way is n none of our effects are gonna change, right? Like we already have our our effects all being sent, and this this parallel vocal is just completely independent um, of this guy so let's mix this in here I normally try to bring this down our parallel vocal and then kind of slowly bring it up to where I can hear that it's really starting to kind of drive up the sound let's try it are you shopping anywhere home change the color of your hair are you still dizzy dizzy you have to pay that fine Only you were dodging all the time Are you still dizzy? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Since I've come out home Well, my body All right, sweet. That's that's in a really, really good spot. Our, our energy has really driven up, and it sounds pretty sweet. So let's turn off our parallel vocal, and I'm going to play it uh, just by itself, how it was before, without this extra comp and exciter that we added. I'll fix it for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your hair. Uh, All right, let's unmute it. I'll fix it for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. You have to pay. And you can hear it's it really brought up the energy. It's making the song come alive and and be really really powerful. And the only thing missing here is uh, mixing this acoustic guitar, which we are actually going to do in next week's video to kind of bring home this this entire mix here. So I'm going to play this for you one more time. I'm going to kind of mute and unmute this parallel vocal so you can just. I really want you to feel how much this changes the energy of this song. So we're going to start with it off. I'll fix it for you. Yeah. And then on. Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. And then on. Did you have to pay that fine? Only you were dodging all the time. Are you still dizzy? Yeah. And on. Oh, oh, oh. Since I've come out home. And it's in a sweet, sweet spot. So I hope you can use some of this. You can use this in any style of music. I've used this a lot in rock music and pop music. Um, of course, this these acoustic uh, songs. And once I learn this technique, I almost never do a mix without it. I have uh, template sessions that are set up with these parallel processing um, chains kind of all ready to go so that as soon as I'm ready, as soon as I have the vocal sound, I just turn this bus on and it's all being routed and it's it's ready to go and I do this a lot with uh, drums as drums for sure we do this all the time and percussion it just really picks up the energy of your song and allows you to allows you to just mix more and um, it allows those those the exciter and those high frequencies to come through without it being too much because you can kind of mix it in so you're not putting just all your stuff on one vocal you're you're spreading it out you're spreading out the love a little bit for the vocal to really come through so thank you so much for watching this video definitely click the link below to get this session in this exact state so you can just see how these routings work and you can follow along and use this in your own sessions you can actually save this as a template and record your own song and sort of use some of this stuff to to make your song sound awesome and if you also click the link to download the presets you'll have all the presets all in here i have over 30 presets for for vocals that are for EQ, we got compression here, and then we also have uh, distortion. These distortion settings are really sweet uh, for, for vocals, and they help they help in the same way that the that this exciter is coming through, 
um, but they're a little bit more overall versus just doing those those high frequencies. So it's nice to get kind of an overall distortion sound that's that's sort of light, and then expanding on that with the exciter in the parallel processing chain here. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week where we mix some acoustic guitar.